Hey my airtime friends and welcome to my channel. I am here today doing a special weekend love reading for Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for uh, May 25th, 26th, 27th, and going on into the 28th. Um, I am using the Tarot of Sexual Magic for your main deck. I haven't used this as a main deck in over a year probably, so I'm very excited to bust it out and I will be doing clarifiers with the time predictive uh, after tarot deck so we will get started one more shuffle here all right air signs what is your energy in this connection relationship situationship however you define it all right your energy is the king of cups in reverse the person you are dealing with. Ooh. The Eight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a fire sign because they got the Ace as their energy. So um, if you're connecting with a fire sign, make sure you check out that reading as well. All right. What is the energy of the relationship's current status? What's going on currently between these two, these six of wands in reverse? Spirit's advice for you is the ace of cups in reverse. And the outcome that is able to change due to free will. All right, we got the Ten of Wands that flipped in the deck, and these fell on the ground. The King of Swords in reverse, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. All right, that's two Eights in reverse and two Kings in reverse. What you got going on here, Air Signs? Bottom of your deck and shared energy is Justice in reverse. Wow, clarified by the Emperor in reverse, and the Four of Swords. Queen of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck next in reverse as well. Whew. Air signs. Let me see what we got here. Okay. So I will show you uh, this card in the upright um, first. So this deck is an amazing, amazing deck. This uh, author um, or creator of these did an amazing job. But um, in the upright, uh, the King of Cups, oh, excuse me, um, they, they have a hard time expressing how they feel, the, their, uh, how much you mean to them. Um, and that's in the upright. They have a lot of love for you, but they just don't know how to express it. They don't know how to show it. They they assume that you should know without them having to um, tell you. Uh, this card in the upright is also about being satisfied, satisfaction within their um, within your life, um, air sign. And with it coming in in the reverse, um, you are not satisfied with the current situation with with uh, whatever is going on between you and this person um, yeah I'm just getting that there's like a lack of transparency like there's there's possibly things hidden um, this relationship is just out of her like out of harmony um, yeah and it's just stuck in I'm hearing stuck in the everyday routine. So um, you guys could be lacking, you know, um, spontaneity, surprises, that awe factor. Um, quite frankly, you could be getting very bored even though you have a lot of love for this person. Um, there is just a, a level of like routine. So you're feeling out of, like very unharmonious. You're feeling very unsettled right now. Um, air signs. The person that you are dealing with 
we'll start with the eight of pentacles in reverse. So, um, they could have, or you could be like, like trying to shower them with affection and they're just, they don't seem like they are, um, wanting to really warm up to you. Um, they're also feeling this disconnect. They're also feeling like this is getting into that humdrum of everyday life. Uh, There's been an indifference in the past um, between the two of you. Um, you are coming out of that indifference. But you this person could just want you to like be genuine and be tender and be like there for them. Um because the two of you, there's there's just a big indifference here. There's a big disconnect. Um, maybe with the clarifiers, I will get what that disconnect is. But um, there's a big indifference. And you need to overcome. There's, there's like something stopping you from overcoming this rift between the two of you. Um, yeah. They could feel like you're not working enough at the relationship. They could feel like um, you're not putting enough effort in because they want they want a big opportunity with you. Um, they want the balance between mind, body, and soul. They want you to offer them and only them this abundant life. The two of you do have an opportunity for an amazing connection together. Um, but there's just like a lack of trying. Your person could be giving up. Your person um, could be like shutting down the, the affection because, because there's no effort here. Um, there's just too much. It's like you're both just super comfortable in the connection that it's almost like you're turning into roommates over, over lovers. Um, it's like neither one of you really try and this could go vice versa. So, but somebody isn't trying like, you know, they used to, you used to come home from work and they'd be all dressed up with makeup on and heels. And now you get home and they're scrolling through Instagram and watching Netflix in their sweatpants. There's just like a level of. Yeah, there's a big disconnect here as well. Air sign, for some of you, the two of you, um, you know, have lost that spark, but you still care a lot for each other. But the person you're dealing with could um, decide not to want to work on this with you, kind of ignoring those passionate um, offers because they're wanting a new beginning or wanting a fresh start, wanting a different relationship with somebody else, a new opportunity um, they could be interested in an earth sign or they could be an earth sign. So um, the energy in your guys' current situation is the six of wands in reverse. So once again, uh, there's yeah, I definitely need clarifiers because there's just such a disconnect and, I, and I'm not picking up what that disconnect is, but um, you guys are growing apart. Uh, it's like the relationship, the passion, it's like it's like it's been diluted. Um, and it's just, it's kind of fizzling out. Like when you throw water on a campfire and it just kind of sizzles out to nothing. Um, for some of you, the person you're dealing with or you, could have a lot of doubts about this connection. Um, it could have uh, it could have started out just as like a fling, like kind of a game. Um, you guys were both just out to to have fun, to to get pleasure in life, and now one of you or both of you are doubting the seriousness of this, doubting if this could 
if they could even, if this could even happen if you both wanted it. Um, for some of you, they're ignoring you or you're ignoring them intentionally, um, not letting messages go through. There's no physical connection here at the moment. Um, somebody's like shutting down while they figure out where they want to go or who they want to be with. All they know is they want this big opportunity in, in love and life. Um, so right now they're just kind of disconnecting to decide how they're going to get that or how they're going to pursue that. So um, there is this disconnect here. There is that stopping of communication, not seeing each other um, in person right now, um, not answering texts or phone calls. That's the disconnect. They're trying to figure out um, who they want to uh, invest this new beginning that they're in search of. Uh, Spirit's advice for you is the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> Excuse me. The Ace of Cups in reverse. So, um, yeah, you're both... I feel like you're both wanting this new beginning, but, but it's like you don't know how to get there. It's like you've become so much this person that you don't know how to get those emotions back um, flowing again. With, with this card, it's like lack of passion, lack of uh, sexual desire for somebody. You know, in the, in the upright, this is ecstasy. This is amazing connection when two, the only time that two separate people become one existence is in the Ace of Cups with the actual act of um, lovemaking. So in the upright, it's like pure ecstasy, amazing. Um, but in the reverse, it's like, how do I get, how do I get that? How do I get back to that? Um, I'll put it in the upright so you guys can see it. But it's just, somebody's not satisfied in this relationship. Um, there's a lot of reasons to be happy in this relationship, but there's also a lot of reasons where this dissatisfaction has justification. Um, you both love each other, and there is potential for success, but when it's in the reverse, um, you have to ask yourself, you have to reevaluate this relationship. You have to ask yourself, is this love worth um, going through all this? Can this love be, you know, rejuvenated? Um, do I even love them in the same way that I did before? And if I don't, is that why we can't get back to this place? Yeah, so Spirit's advice for you is to reevaluate the connection. Reevaluate if all this uh, that you're trying to do to uh, rekindle this, to get this going again. Ask yourself if that's really what you want or is it what you want because it's familiar? Um, is it what you want because you um, already had it and you guys get along pretty well? You know, kind of if, if they're not bringing to you to the point of ecstasy, to the point of um, because that's what is here for you. So you got to reevaluate. And if it's not with this person who's kind of disconnected from you, then um, then you have to evaluate whether you're going to move on and go after this. Um, because I don't see a third-party situation here necessarily. I will um, with clarifiers with your person. But for you, um, you're just wanting that love back. And Spirit's saying your advice is to figure out if that's possible with the person that you're trying to get it from. Because the outcome is the Ten of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Um, we'll start with the Eight of Cups in reverse. In this card, in the upright, they're just both in like happy, happy, love, love, love land. Um, but when it, when it comes in the reverse... Um, somebody's ignoring the other person's character. That's why Spirit is saying, do you really want this person still? Do you really have that same love for this person? Because you've got big time love coming in for you, but you got to decide if it's this person. Um, so with this card in the reverse, um, you're, you're needing to take a look at this person's character, 
um, you know, how uh, this person is very cut off from you right now, very reserved from you. Um, so you must, 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 must um, find a way to just examine their character. I feel there's something you're not seeing the way they treat people, um, you know, how they've treated people in the past. Because I'm hearing your guys' goals and just your personalities and characters are going in different directions. Um, out of this kind of honeymoon phase and into this uh, are we really that compatible phase. You do have the uh, King of Swords in reverse as well with this outcome. Um, you could be... Yeah, you could be putting the end to a affair. Um, as you see, I didn't even see this card down in the outcome. Um, as you see, there is a spouse in the window while uh, the king is kind of uh, doing whatever with whoever, not his spouse. So um, in the upright, um, this is all about just, I heard fondling. That's so weird. Um, this is all about um, okay air sign this person for this group of you and it can be vice versa so um, don't get hung up on that but I'm just going to refer to it as you because you are the air sign but whoever Whoever is the one that has the two people, whether that be your person or you, the other person um, is leaving. This is this is love grown from strength, but there's so many different kinds of strength. So uh, this person could have been waiting on you to follow your heart, and you weren't. You were um, ignoring it because um, you didn't know how to get out of a situation that you're in. Um, from a spouse or a long-term person. Um, so they were sitting here um, while you're telling them how much uh, you love them. And, and they're like, yeah, whatever. How come you never show me? How come you don't prove it? How come you are still with somebody else? So that's why it is in the reverse um, for some of you. You have a lot of love for this person, but you're having a hard time following your heart. You're having a hard time getting out of a situation where you have to let love lead the way and not your thoughts, um, not your uh, plan A, not your, um, you know, backup plan. You have to follow your heart. You have to go with the flow and you're having a hard time doing that. Um, so they're wondering if you're ever going to be able to offer them this new beginning. They want it from you, but they're starting to detach. They're starting to disconnect because they are questioning whether or not it's coming. Um, they're taking a step back, not wanting, um, you know, like sexual connection right now, not wanting, you know, it's like you go to kiss them and they turn their, their cheek, you know, this is, um, trying to disconnect to try to reevaluate because they're reevaluating the situation as well. Um, spirit's advice is to get out of a situation where the love is lost and go after that great big love. Um, it's also saying to reevaluate the situation you're currently in to see if it's worth giving up what you'd lose if you stay where you're at. Um, with the Eight of Cups in reverse, the need to break out of a uh, cycle with somebody that at one point in time, this relationship was very blissful, but there is a disconnect. There is a lack of um, putting effort into each other. I do feel that is with a spouse or a long-term person's energy um, with the king of swords so in the upright it's uh, love conquering all love getting bigger because of the strength it took to get there the fight you had to put in to the transformation so in the reverse um, there is a lack of transformation there's a lack of having to put in the work in order to get what it is that you want this ace of cups this ace of pentacles um, a spouse also could be 
um, finding out about a third party um, and they could be the the spouse could be the one disconnecting as well after finding out about um, a lover on the side they don't want you to touch them they don't want you to talk to them um, they're going through a very emotional time trying to deal with their feelings I am seeing both uh, sides of the story here um, yeah they they had a feeling that you were offering affection to somebody else because that connection just wasn't there for them um, you know you weren't you weren't showing them love the same way you had in the past so um, for those of you that have a spouse or long-term person finding out about a lover that's that storyline the ten of wands here it's a little bit different in this deck um, this is all about not having um, not having the willpower to I mean this person I mean look at them they gotta do it wherever they can get it done because they have to have it right now um, because the desire is so strong because the because the attraction is so strong um, and look at all the colors of those leaves healing healing colors uh, yeah there's something though um, okay let me see here okay so I'm gonna kind of back up for just a second so um, air signs um, and put whatever one of these storylines fits in with your situation um, you're not sure who to offer your cup to um, you do have somebody else um, other than the person that you are in a commitment with or a marriage to um, not having the not having the uh, the faith to take that leap of faith and or not having that trust to take that leap of faith to go with the flow to allow your emotions to lead you where you're meant to be um, you're overthinking things um, instead of letting your heart do the walking um, you're you're kind of fighting the tide because you don't know who or what to do um, the person that you are dealing with um, you the person that you um, have a home with the person that you have a uh, a commitment to uh, the person you should be having a loyalty um, with you're not offering them that affection that attention anymore you're you're not offering it to them because you're seeing potential in somebody else you're seeing a new beginning with um, somebody that you resonate more with this person like gets you in a way that nobody has ever gotten you before um, the energy right now that is in this relationship is you are both um, avoiding the temptation of having this affair. You're both avoiding, for this group of you, this hasn't happened yet, um, like the actual sex, uh, but there is a lot of, um, like you're picturing this, being with this person, um, you picture having this new beginning, this new life with this person because currently you're in a relationship where your emotions are drained and not wanting to continue with that. Um, but as of right now, the energy in your current relationship uh, or in your current energy with this mistress or mister, um, it hasn't gone here yet. The refusal of being touched, not there yet. Um, Spirit's advice is to once again same advice reevaluate where do you want to put your heart where do you want this big new beginning it's here for you you got to decide who you want it with um the outcome um having a hard time moving on and disconnecting from a situation that there's a lot of love a lot of bliss between the two of you shared um with it in the reverse you are moving away out of this this relationship um you could be cutting yourself out of a uh, commitment um, but with the Ten of Wands in this deck and the King of Swords, in your guys' outcome energy, you are going to um, succumb to that, that temptation. This is uh, the where the sexual affair begins. Um, yeah, because the Ten of Wands, it's all about have it's all about the Ten and the Ten of Wands is getting it. This is about the actual penetration, the actual sex, the act itself. Um, <clears throat> it's, it's, 
the beauty of when a man and a woman or how, whatever um, come together for the first time. It is the need to have it um, because you know that there's, uh, you know that this can be very successful and you know the, the chemistry between the two of you, both partners are going to be satisfied. This is a good sexual connection. Um, but after it happens, it's not going to be long before that, that spouse or long-term person, um, finds out about this. So really, uh, reevaluate your choices. Uh, don't do something you're going to regret and don't hurt anybody that you're in a relationship with. If you want to go with somebody else, leave the situation that you're currently involved in. Um, cause I do see you and this, uh, mistress moving forward, but, um, try to end the relationship that has the love lost first is what spirits advice is. All right. Your guys's shared energy, justice in reverse. So, <clears throat> um, I'll let you look, guys look at it in the upright. The justice in reverse. Well, first the justice in the upright. That is all about, uh, you know, just balancing out the karmic scales. Every time we, <clears throat> as humans, have sex with somebody, you create karma, good or, I mean, good or bad. Karma is a good thing, too. Um, you take their energy with you you leave some of your energy with them. So it's just, it's uh, balancing out and not bringing someone else's energy home to somebody else is what I'm getting with that in reverse if that made any sense whatsoever. Um, I, I keep hearing that one of you is worried about what would come out in a divorce. Like, um, like if they have like secrets of yours or like, like something was done in the past that you could get in trouble for. Um, <coughs> my throat chakra is starting to close up. So somebody doesn't want the other person to talk with this justice card. Um, also, Somebody could have to testify. This is outside of the connection, though. You could be needing to testify in court. Um, and they're saying, don't lie. So you could be contemplating, and this is only going to resonate for a couple of people, but um, you could be subpoenaed to testify. And you are trying to figure out what you're going to say, if you're going to tell the truth and the whole truth, or if you're going to tell a half truth, I kind of see an iffy line there. And that, like I said, that's for just a few of you, but, um, that's very important, uh, advice I would say, but, um, yeah, with justice, um, I'm hearing you must give something Be careful of the karma you be careful of the karma you create because it will follow you and no matter what you will always have to pay for um uh you'll always have to pay for like mistakes, errors of your past. Um bad karma created must be paid. The debt has to be cleared before this will come into balance. So that's what it's saying to be careful of the situation right now. You're still holding off, but be careful because you're creating this karma and it will follow you and it will not go away until it is paid. So be careful what you do to somebody it will come back to you eventually. Um, so it, it's really saying to be cautious of what you're doing here. Do it the right way. Um, 
Yeah, it's also being clarified by the Emperor. Two big cards. This is also somebody I see in the legal system. So two uh, cards of legal um, issues, people that are in the law. But that was most uh, more so for the sexual karma. You could, some of you could be having to go to court because of mistakes you made in your past. And now it's catching up to you. Now it's, it's going to bite you in the ass for a few of you. Okay, so with this justice clarified by the emperor, <coughs> oh my goodness. You could be, I'm hearing, um, you're trying to decide if you're even going to testify at your own hearing. I wonder what the heck you did. <laughs> Because that message is persistent. Wow. Um, but, okay. With the emperor. Uh, this is just saying to... Uh, for some of you, you have, like, power that is entrusted in you. Um... For some of you, this person um, may be taking advantage of that power. This person um, needs to learn to have power over himself before he should be um, entrusted with, with that ability, with that power. This could be like, you know, um, you know, like a judge that you can pay him off or, uh, you know, a dirty cop or, you know, somebody who's entrusted to... Make sure the rules are followed, yet they're the ones breaking them, and their karma is going to catch up to them, and uh, and it's going to catch up to them quick because the truth is coming out with the four of swords clarifying the emperor and the uh, justice in reverse. I mean, look at him uh, holding her mouth. It's like he's almost trying to hold her uh, mouth shut. I'm getting there. Somebody made errors. Somebody made mistakes and they're saying to not beat yourself up over these mistakes. Um, but it's saying you must forgive yourself and do not punish yourself. Um, but the court of law may take action. Um, this is also, you can get over this. You can get through this. God, that is such a specific message. Because I know not all you air signs are in court. But you could know somebody in your space. The person you're connecting to. It could be their spouse. Oh my gosh. I got, this is a half hour already. I need to get, the, I need to get this moving. There are so many timelines. For some of you, you're connecting.